Hey peeps, welcome back to the channel. Me again with another video. So if you're anything like me and you absolutely love my root app, I love my root app, I love my planning bit of my root app, and I love being able to plan routes on my laptop or my Mac using an internet browser. I can plan the routes and it saves it in saves it in my routes. I can put them in folders, put them anywhere. Go and have a look at any one of my multiple other videos on my root app. It also allows me to have them in my My Root App app on my phone. So a big thumbs up to My Root App for producing such a great product. However, I personally, I don't like or get on with the My Root App Navigator app. It's not for me. If it's for you, then that is absolutely great. It's just not for me. I don't like the way it doesn't skip waypoints when I've told it to skip waypoints. And I don't like a few other things that it doesn't do that I want it to do. And I have actually mentioned a few of these things to my root app. I have open tickets, but the unfortunately I haven't had any um, I haven't had any solutions from my root app that are helpful. So I don't use the navigator part of my root app. That's not to say that I don't use my root app. I do think it is absolutely brilliant. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. I actually have asked my root app if they would like to sponsor any or one of my videos on my channel. But but I again, I haven't had anything back from them, which is um, which which has interested me enough, shall we say. So here's what I do when I have a root on my 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 on my my root app excuse me and I want to uh, I want to navigate that when I'm out on my motorbike uh, this is what I do so here we are at my iPhone this is an iPhone tutorial and here I'm going to go and tap on my my root app app which is there in the My Route app app, I've got routes and track logs. And if I tap on that, that takes me to all of the routes that I have made whilst online by using my Mac, in fact, by using Google Chrome. But whatever browser you use is absolutely fine. So whatever I save in there or do in there is here as well. So all I have to go and do is tap on this button here, which says routes and track logs, this one. And here I've got a list of my routes. And I've got a route here. Let's use this one, caffeine and machine. Let's go and tap on caffeine and machine. Now I want to route this from where I uh, where I am in Hertfordshire up to caffeine and machine. So I could from here use the navigate button, but like I said earlier, I actually don't want to use the My Route app navigator because I don't like it. I'm going to go and use a different way to to navigate it. So here now I can go and click on the down arrow button, the middle button here, and I'm going to go and uh, open it up as a GPX 1.0 file, which is a root track log and POI. POI means point of interest. And I'm going to click the download button and then I'm going to click on export. And with export, I am then going to go and download it or, or open it with the app that I want to use to as the navigator for this particular route. And in this particular case, I want to go and use Sigic. I have a I have a subscription with Sigic. I'll put a link to them below. Not sponsored. My link, I paid for it. So I'm going to just go and open up Sigic. Sigic opens and it goes and brings in the route for me. And there you go, there's my route, of which I can then click on start and go and navigate this, this route. Easy peasy, Japanesey. So nothing fancy there. Okay, so there you have it. That's what I do. And you can, I'm sure you do it, do it your own way. Perhaps you do really love my route app. Uh, the, well, my route app navigator and uh, or perhaps you do it in a different way you can go and have a look at any one of the other videos I've made on how to get a route from my route app to Garmin for example they are all in the same playlist as this one's in but what, however you do it I would like to learn from you and I would like to think that we can all learn from each other in these tutorial videos so however it is that you do it please do put it in the comments below I, I would like to read what you do and how you do it so and we can all learn from each other. We're all on the same, if you excuse the pun, we're all on the same learning journey. So 
Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you got something out of it. If you could like and subscribe, I'd be incredibly grateful because that means that the uh, Google YouTube algorithm will like it as well. And that means that they place this video in front of more people. So there you go. Uh, until the next My Root App tutorial video, thank, thank you very much for watching. Uh, ride safely and I will see you in the next one.